All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So I wanna find the value of this. So for my solution, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 20 equals over 20 to the power of 10. And I'm going to rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 plus 10 over 20 to the power of 10. So I rewrote 20, my exponent here, as 10 plus 10. Now, the reason I did that is so I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is an important property of exponents. And I'm going to use this on 10 to the power of 10 plus 10. So now 10 to the power of 10 plus 10, that's going to turn into, we can think of both 10, but 10 as both m and n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10, all over 20 to the power of 10. Now, this can be written as 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. All I did was I just grouped 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10 because this way I can use the property a to the power of m over b to the power of m is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10 times 1 half to the power of 10. And finally, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is going to turn into 10 times 1 half to the power of 10, which is equal to 5 to the power of 10. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this with any friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. So obviously here, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start by rewriting my problem. So I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now 4 here, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 squared to the power of x. I, all I did was replace 4 with 2 squared. And now 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I'm going to replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3. So I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 2x. And now this is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. Meaning in this case, 2x is equal to m and 3 is n. So I have 2x is equal to 3. And this is a simple equation. All I have to do is divide both sides by 2. 
So then these two cancel out and I get X is equal to three over two. All right, so in this problem, I have X to the power of X plus one is equal to X. So to solve this, I'm gonna start by subtracting X on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I'm left with X to the power of X plus one minus X is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So x to the power of x plus 1, this is going to be equal to x to the power of x times x to the power of 1. Now I have this minus x is equal to 0. Now if I factor out x, I get x times x to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x is equal to 0, and I have x to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x equals 0. This is already a solution. Now for x to the power of x minus 1 equals 0, I'm going to add 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get x to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, because x has to be the same number, we obviously know that, well, what number to the power of itself is equal to 1? That's going to be 1, right? Because 1 to the power of 1 is equal to itself. So x is equal to 1. And there's no, actually, there's no other number that when you take the power of itself is going to equal 1. S meaning x equals 1 is the only solution to this equation. So now to check. The original equation was x to the power of x plus 1 is equal to x. So x to the power of x plus 1 is equal to x. And our first solution was 0. So if I plug in 0, I get 0 to the power of 0 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now 0 plus 1 is 1, so I have 0 power to the power of 1 equals 0. And 0 to the power of any number is itself, so I get 0 equals 0. Now to check for 1, I get 1 to the power of 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 1. And 1 to the power of any number itself, so 1 equals 1. Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 100. So I'm going to first start by taking the natural log, or ln, on both sides. So I have ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 100. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent and b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. So for ln x to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and I'm going to get x times ln x is equal to ln 100. Now ln 100, that's the same thing as ln of 10 squared. So I get x times ln x is equal to ln 10 squared. And if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, again, I can move 2 to the front. So I get x times ln x is equal to 2 times ln 10. Now there is something called the w Lambert function. And if I take the w Lambert function of something in the form e to the power of sorry, a times e to the power of a, this is going to equal a. So this is basically what the w Lambert function is. So if there's something in the form a to the power, a times e to the power of a, that's going to equal a. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to rewrite x here as e to the power of ln of x because e, the e and ln cancel out, and this results in simply x. So I'm just going to rewrite x as e to the power of ln of x. And I have this times ln x is equal to 2 times ln 10. 
And now, this is in the form a times e to the power of a. So now, if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, this results in ln x equaling w of 2 times ln 10. And now if I take e to the power of both sides, I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of 2 ln 10. And e to the power of ln x, that's going to equal x. So I get x is equal to e to the power of w of 2 times ln 10. And this is equal to 3.597285, which rounds up to 3.597. So this is my answer to this problem.